Arctic invasion, consider today payback. Oh man, it was so sweet out there. Still nice, we've got 66 degrees, blue Colorado sky, very little wind to deal with. Not a cloud anywhere in that Pueblo sky, 71 degrees right now, very light breeze out of the south. Let's go to Canyon City. Last week you were a slip and sliding on Main Street with that snow and the cold air. Right now it is 68 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. Fun in the sun after that go in the snow last week. All right, here's your big weather story. Here's what happens tomorrow. If you thought today was nice, get a load of this. Tomorrow high pressure again. Massive area of high pressure, the key player for us. We will have a strong downslope component around here. That'll bring in more sunshine. And believe it or not, it's going to be even warmer than what we had around here today. Here's the way it plays out hour by hour. Tomorrow morning at 7, already above freezing for Colorado Springs Pueblo, much of the I-25 corridor. By lunchtime, we're in the 60s and 70s as we work through the afternoon hours. Maybe a hint of a cloud in some skies, but overall still mostly sunny and just downright gorgeous. Now, the big changes I advertised early in the show by Sunday morning. Cold front well down to the south of us. The energy for this next system looks to track right across the Colorado-New Mexico border. A little too far far north to be a major precip player here across Colorado Springs and Pueblo. But man, is it going to get colder by Sunday? We're looking at highs about 40 degrees colder than what we'll have the next few days. And for some, there will be some snow in the forecast, not a big fall of snow. But by seven Sunday morning, we'll have flurries flying here across the viewing area. Same deal at noon. I think by early afternoon, already starting to see that snow in from Pueblo south. Again, the energy just tracking too far north. But from Colorado Springs north, it could turn out to be a, a decent beneficial snowstorm for us. We need that moisture, especially especially during the month of March. Lows tonight on the mild side. Highs tomorrow even warmer than what we had today. Winds out of the west tomorrow, 5 to 10, maybe 15 miles per hour at times. Here's that super seven-day forecast. We will tie the all-time record high on Thursday. Friday, fire danger ramps up. The winds get a little stronger. I think we could see gusts from 20 to occasionally 30 miles per hour around here on Friday. Transitional day Saturday. Here comes that snow on Sunday and much colder air. If we're lucky, we'll make it barely above freezing on Sunday, maybe a leftover snow shower Monday, another cold day by March standards, and then we're back into the 40s by next Tuesday. And for Pueblo, make it a point to get out and enjoy those soothing 70s the next few days. Brand new all-time record high on Thursday, windy with high fire danger on Friday, and then we cool dramatically by Sunday, a high of only 39 degrees, a few snow showers, not enough probably to even settle the dust. We'll watch it closely as the storm evolves and moves our way. Canyon City, same exact pattern, dry and warm warm the next few days, few snow showers by Sunday and in Woodland Park. Enjoy that warmth. Boy, I'm telling you, it's been a long time since we've had back to back days into the 60s. The real March shows up over the weekend, snow in the forecast and much colder air again. Rob?